Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your daily analysis for gold done towards the end of the New York session for Thursday 21st of November. I'm recording the video now for 20 past 4 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time on the 21st. The daily wave count remains the same. It still expects that we're in a big correction for a primary degree fourth wave which is unfolding either as a double combination or a flat or possibly least likely a double zigzag. I'm labelling at this stage primary wave 4 WXY and most likely a double combination. If price reaches down to 1205 then this downwards wave would then be 90% the length of this upwards wave and I would relabel this ABC for a flat correction because that has a higher probability than a combination or double zigzag. If price fails to reach down to 1205, the labelling must remain WXY and we'll be expecting a second corrective structure, most likely to end around about the same level as this because it would most likely be a double combination and the purpose of that is to take up time and move price sideways, which means the second corrective structure would be either a flat or possibly a triangle, most likely a flat. It could also be a double zigzag, although I expect that has a lower probability because double zigzags usually have briefer and shallower X waves. At this stage the target will remain the same. At 1206 minor wave C would reach a quality in length with minor wave A and at 1198 minute wave 5 within this C wave would reach 1.618 the length of minute wave 1. Draw a parallel channel around this downward sloping zigzag from the start of A to the end of B with a parallel copy on the end of A. Expect downwards movement to find support at the lower edge of that channel. Also draw a channel around minor wave C using Elliott's second technique. Draw the first trend line from the high label 2 to 4 which is here. Place a parallel copy on the end of 3. If downwards movement for the final wave is quite swift, it could find support at the lower edge of this channel, but it's also quite likely to end midway in that channel. So I am expecting one, two or possibly at the utmost three more days of downwards movement. On the daily chart, when we look at this piece of movement, it looks like we have a little second wave correction in here, and it looks like with not quite a doji but a very small real body in this candle looks like we may be having a fourth wave correction in here. So a cursory look on the daily chart looks like this should be labelled 1, 2, 3, 4. That has a bearing on how I have it labelled on the hourly chart where it start here is this point here. So I'm labelling this 1, 2, this is unchanged, 3 ended just short of the target and now we need 4 to complete. This also fits absolutely perfectly with MACD, the strongest piece of downwards movement using MACD as an indicator, the lowest line for the lines here, corresponds perfectly with the middle of the third wave. And I've looked at this on the five minute chart, there's one, two, three, there's a fourth wave in here. So although this third wave has a bit of a three wave look on the hourly chart, when we look at its subdivisions, because the fourth wave is a deep, very sharp, brief zigzag, it doesn't show up on the hourly chart, it shows up perfectly on the five minute chart. From here to here, it's a completed five wave impulse. So with Minuet Wave 3 ending here close to the target, it now has a nice 2.618 Fibonacci ratio to the first wave. And when I calculate that ratio, I calculate it using the orthodox length from the start to the end of the first wave, not the price extreme. So we have one, two, three impulse complete and four needs to complete. It should show some alternation with the second wave. The second wave was a sh relatively shallow 47% correction and sideways moving combination. We have a flat X and a zigzag. The fourth wave so far looks like it may be unfolding as a zigzag. We have A, B may or may not be over here, could move a bit lower, and then we'll have C up, most likely to make a new high slightly above this point. So that may see it end around about 1246.71, so slightly above that point to avoid a truncation, and that may see the fourth wave come to find resistance at the upper edge of this channel. 
Draw this one using Elliot's first technique. Draw the first trend line from the end of one to three. Place a parallel copy on the end of two. The fourth wave may find resistance there. Sometimes fourth waves overshoot these channels and when they do, we redraw them using Elliot's second technique. I'd also expect this fourth wave to end somewhere within the price territory of the fourth wave of one lesser degree, so between this low and this high, also somewhere in this area. So about the 0.236 Fibonacci ratio is certainly indicated by this wave count. Minuet wave 4 may not move into Minuet wave 1 price territory. We take that as the price extreme at 1270.14. Importantly, fourth waves can come to touch the end or the price extreme of first waves. It's only movement above that point which would invalidate the wave count. I'm not expecting it to get nearly that high though, it should be about here. When minuet wave 4 is complete, I can then add to this target calculation, which is now calculated at two wave degrees, I can add to it at a third wave degree. I will see if I can narrow it down for you. For now, I favour slightly the lower end of this target range because it's calculated at a lower wave degree. So again, we got more downwards movement, which is what we expected. We're getting much closer to the end now. We need a little fourth wave correction to end and sometime within the next 24 hours, I'm expecting a trend change and a final fifth wave down. That's all for me today with your gold analysis and I hope that all our members are having a fabulous day.